Yeah, I do. All right, so you've been here for a minute. Um, you've taken in a lot of information, right? But it's something, we can get this, but it's something I want to just paint a picture to you, right? Think about it. Let's look at this building behind us, right, D'Angelo? If, if you was inside of a house, right? And let's say this house caught a fire, right? You were inside the room. This your brother right here? All right, you and your brother inside one room, right? And you see this house on fire. What is the first thing that you're going to try and do? Say that again? Get out. He said that with haste. You trying to get him out, and he trying to get out. You trying to get out too? Okay, all praises. What I'm trying to show you is, I was just about to bring that point. That's what we are trying to do, get you out of the smoking. You see what I'm saying? Because think about it. If the house is full of smoke and it's burning and you're the temple of God, do you think that the most High God wants your temple filled with smoke? No, he does not want your temple filled with smoke because a temple is precious. A temple is set apart. Watch this, First Thessalonians. Hold that, First Thessalonians 4 verse 4. Because the point we'll be trying to show you is smoking, our forefathers never did that. David, you know but King David, Moses, did they smoke? They didn't smoke, so why are we smoking today? Watch this. The book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 4. Uh -huh. That every one of you should... Read it slow. That every one of you... That every one of us... Watch what the Bible say. Should know how to possess his vessel. We shall know how to possess our vessel. Because this body you're in, that's your vessel that was loaned to you by our God. Right? Same thing with Stanley. You see what I'm saying, D'Angelo? We should know how to possess it. But do we know how to possess our vessel? No, we don't. Because our people defile ourselves with what? Drugs. Fornication. So on and so forth. Defile foods. The Bible says we should know how to uh, how to what? Possess our vessels in how? In sanctification and honor. And in what? And in honor. Because God look at us in honor. The, the officer just get that revelation now. Because he said, if we come out of the smoking, if we come out of the drugs, out of the fornication, we shall rule. Don't you want to rule? Or do you want to be at the bottom smoking your life away? You want to be up the top or you want to be to the bottom? Think about it. <laughs> you want to be to the top or you want to be to the bottom? All right, watch this. So in order for you to be to the top, what do you think you should do? Continue smoking or stop smoking? Watch what the Bible says. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 26. Uh -huh. And he that overcometh, he that what? He that overcometh, uh, the Angelo, if you overcome the weed, like we did, great point, what shall happen for the Angelo? And keep it my works. What is the works? The commandments. The day is the Sabbath day. Keep this day holy. No eating shrimp, crab, pork, lobster. That's if right. you have a girlfriend, don't work with that, eh? you don't eat them stuff, right? Okay, you have a girlfriend? No. Okay. No, you don't have a girlfriend, so you could. Marriage is honorable. Don't feel bad. You, all praises. What we're trying to show you is, hey, D'Angelo and Stanley, what we're trying to show you is, if you overcome, because all of us still have to overcome some things that we all are dealing with. Some things we have already overcame in terms of the basis of you don't eat pork. You just say, hey, you ain't got to worry about that. You, but what about all praises, but what about the smoking? It's a process, and we can touch on that. Read it again from the top. And he that overcometh, uh -huh. I'll keep it my works unto the end. Until when? Unto the end. No, till tomorrow. To the end. No, just till this afternoon. Unto the end. To the end. Meaning what? It may be to your death, or it may be until Christ returns. The black Messiah. But it says, until you endure and overcome until the end, what shall he regain? To him will I give power. What shall he receive? Power! Because we don't have no power. That's right. We walk up and down Wolf Road, we are at the bottom of society. That's this right. Bible lets us know the children of Israel are supposed to be to the top. That's right. We are the greatest thing on this earth. 
God created this earth for you to rule. Why are you at the bottom? Why are you at the bottom? Why are we at the bottom? You know why? Because we break the commandments of God. But if you overcome the smoking, you are one step closer to receiving the kingdom for the 12 tribes of Israel. Watch this, read on. To him will I give power over the nations. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who shall the Angelo receive power over? Power over the nation. The Angelo, is that equal? Are you going to be equal with the other nations? Or are you going to be powerful over the other nations? You are. Read it again for him. To him will I give power over the nation. Who are the nations you shall have power over? The so-called Chinese man the so-called African man, the so-called white man, the so-called Arab man, they are the ones who are responsible for the atrocities that happen to our people. You know? They are the ones that gave us Mao water and say, you know what, you can use it for your own purpose. They are the ones that gave us the drugs. They are the ones that gave us the guns. Right. They are the ones that gave us the condoms. Just have sex, you don't need to have uh, 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 children or it's protective you don't say it again and i was about to get to that they are the ones that gave us white jesus That's right. but if you overcome you shall receive the power over them you know what is the power we have right now this bible this bible is our power right now knowing your nationality is powerful but if you don't know your nationality you won't know where you're going you won't know where you come from. Read on. And he shall rule them. He with, shall do what? He shall rule them uh -huh. with a rod of iron. You hear that, D'Angelo? Do you want to rule the other nations with this Bible? All day. Yeah. All day. So what do you think you're going to have to do? You want to finish it up, up, up more than that? Watch this. As the vessel of a porter, shall they be broken to shivers, uh -huh. even as I receive of my father. This is the gospel. You've never heard this. You've, you've read the church before? Yeah. You grew up in church? They have never read this to you. Chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel. And now, D'Angelo and Stanley. How old are you, Stanley? 13. Very important information for you as well. Same thing for the, with the rest of you. The Bible saying, Now, Stanley and D'Angelo, what shall happen? What did the Lord thy God require of thee? He requires something of you. You all understand that? Watch this. But to fear the Lord thy God. To fear the Lord. To walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God, uh -huh. with all thy heart, Read. and with all thy soul, Read. to keep the commandments of the Lord. That's the whole conclusion of the matter. We have a school down there on East Street. You know where the Fountain of Youth Bar is? Right opposite the Fountain of Youth Bar, there's our school upstairs in the Captain Moxie Plaza. I know you got to go. You have the flyer, you got the information, you know your nationality. Come and check us out for three today. 3 o'clock today, you got time? Come and check us out. Stanley too, all right? Say that again? Yeah, if you can't make it, call the number on the back of the flyer. Reach out, we got you, bro. We here for you, all right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.